Hello and welcome to It's Only Electric. Today we are at the Chengdu Motor Show in China. Yes, and we are going to look at the most interesting brands and models available on the Chinese market, but focusing on the European market. It's only electric. This is the third episode of our Chengdu Motor Show series. And in this episode, we'll focus on the Chinese giant BYD and its crazy technology and sub-brands. So now we are at the biggest boot, BYD's boot, and you can really tell by, by its size. I mean, BYD is so big, you can't even understand that when, when in Europe. I mean, in Europe, you only have the BYD brand as such. Here you have BYD on this left side all the way. Then you have Fangsheng Bao, you have Yang Wang, you have Tensu, Denza. That's a lot of different brands. I mean, you have everything from rugged SUV brands to really premium MPVs and SUVs and also the more regular brand BYD with all its flavors. But now we're going to focus on the technology because that's also very important to BYD. We're talking about the battery technology, charging technology, but also the motors itself. Here behind us we have not a real platform but almost illustration of a platform with the battery yeah. pack in the middle the two motors this is the two new motors isn't it yeah but to start with yeah the thousand volt system not yes. 800 volts yeah so thousand 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 yeah so one megawatt one megawatt of charging thousand amps thousand volts one megawatt or exactly. thousand kilowatts of charging so you have it's a dual gun setup yeah as you see here you have two guns which means that you connect it on both sides yeah so you need to have both chargers that's capable of that charging yeah, so and a like car 1000 volts and 500 amps on each side on, on each side yeah to get one megawatt yes and to achieve this you need a really good battery so you, you have a, yeah a new generation of brain batteries yes and these are 10c charging Ten, and 10c charging may not sound that impressive but when we talk about 10c if you just marinate that in your head 10c is like a tenth of an hour which means that yeah. six minutes for a exactly. full charge six yeah. minutes that's I mean, crazy yes <laughs> you, you can't even fuel yeah. your car your ice car on six minutes so a new generation of motors yes and what's special with this one it's this is i mean apparently a permanent magnet motor a permanent magnet motor and it's a hairpin style hairpin windings yeah so more efficient and as you see the motor and rotor is really compact it's compact yeah, yeah. And the good thing with this is a 30,000 RPM system. So it's really... 30,000, that's, that's uh, a lot. That's great. You need to build uh, solid things to be able to <laughs> hold all that torque and all that rotation. Yeah. Otherwise you will break the, the parts inside the motor. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So this is something new. It is. Yeah. So all of this, it's the motor and all the electronics yeah. on top. And this can be up to 560 kilowatts, I think it was. Yeah. Or 580, 560, probably. So 560 in this small package. That's it's a, smaller that's than an inline four engine. Is that like 750 horsepower or something, something like, like that. that in one single drive unit? Yeah. yeah. And, and this is really showing where this is heading. I mean, yeah. we don't see this technology yet, and we will probably not see it as a first in the BYD cars. We'll no. probably see it in the more premium cars, like yeah. the Denza or yeah. uh, Feng Sheng Bao, et cetera. The more premium brands will probably exactly. start out with the new platforms. Probably. Yes. So what we see here is one of BYD's more premium brands. It's a stripped off car, of course, but it's the Yang Wang U7. And what we want to talk about here is not the car in itself. It's the maglev system. So I don't know if you see that there in between the wheel arch and the, and the wheel. It's a very sturdy construction and that's because it's a magnetic solution so you pull in a lot of electrodes to adjust the magnets for the stiffness of the suspension so it's adaptive and it's changing its frequency depending on the level of the surface so for instance you have higher frequencies on small uneven surfaces and lower frequencies when you are passing like over a bump for instance uh, and then it catches up and straightens out that bump. What it also can do is that with its smart functions, it can also detect potholes. So for instance, when you go into a pothole, the front tire will recognize it 
lift up it a little bit so we don't fall down in the pothole. You just cruise over it and it sets down the tire just when the pothole ends. That way you don't crack the, the wheel or ruin your tires and you will have a more pleasant experience inside the car. And this is, I think you said it, is like the fastest adjusting maglev system in the world. I think it was five milliseconds response time. Yeah, and that's really quick. Yeah, yeah. so, so it, yeah, you have cameras and radars and we yeah. detect all the potholes and beforehand prepare for the potholes. Yeah. But you can also feel if the tire drops yeah. and pull it up. Yeah. So it's really so it's, uh, it's cool, a lot of sensors. And it's of course individual suspension, so every every wheel adjusts itself. So this means that you will probably have the optimal comfort in all conditions. And this is the first car it's launched on. Yeah. And this is a hybrid, so an extended range EV, did you call them? It has yeah, that's a, what you see there. Yeah. It's a boxer engine. Yeah. Four cylinder. Newly developed boxer engine. Yes. Four cylinder, exactly. Yeah, so very so. compact. Really compact, and the weight should be lower than many other engine so yeah one of the better ways to do a extended range EV yeah if you want to do that this is this may be one of the better solutions yeah but preferably drive electric yes so we're gonna <laughs> check out the electric car actually yeah. the U9 yeah. should we go to the U9 yeah. right Let's away directly yeah so here we have the record holder actually a couple of days ago oh. the U, uh, the U9 this is a sport car a really fully electric one with four motors and with a total output of over 3,000 horsepower. Yeah, and it actually had the record in top speed for EVs, the world record of 472 kilometers per hour. So almost 500 kilometers per hour. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And if you look, this is really a supercar design. See the carbon fiber wheels, you see the exterior design, the red color, all the wings, etc. This is This is something else. I mean, this is something different, and it's really cup bucket seats, and I guess this is what, <laughs> what you need in such a car. But this is really a supercar. So you're sitting in 3,000 horsepower right now? 3,000 horsepower, four motors. Look at the interior. Some components we may recognize from the, from the BYD cars, for instance, the instrument cluster here. But otherwise, it's a totally different car. You see the steering wheel, something else in this vertical screen. It looks really sporty. Yeah. And E4 stands for four electric motors. Yeah, exactly. Nice design. Have you seen the small screen here? I think there's different modes, right? Yeah, inside the rotary. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. some haptic touch buttons. Yeah. Even a cheat charger. And this one actually drops down. Uh -uh. When you put your phone, I don't know maybe if it works. Yeah, it drops down. So it drops down. So if you lift it up again. <laughs> or maybe, yeah, no, no, it goes <laughs> okay, up. Okay, now. Yeah. Okay, nice. And we also have, you see the doors here? You close it. Yeah, that's, and this now is, we cocooned in. This is something take else. Account. And you actually have a pretty good storage at the back. Did you yeah. see that? You have some small storage here at the front. Yeah. You actually have glove box also. You think this car is about storage? No, but still, <laughs> it's a supercar with 3,000 horsepower. You have yeah. a glove box, you have some excess storage. Yeah, you don't you have, have the a back charger, seat though. And you have some cup holders. And you can even drink coffee in this car. You have uh, two door buttons, one here and one there. So I can actually press this one. Oh, nice. Oh, actually, it, folds it down. goes red when you press it. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have, have uh, a very wide variety of cars. Yeah, they do like, everything. They Big do everything. SUVs, off-road yeah. cars, city SUVs, yes. smaller sedans. So the parts, the small parts we see of the whole BYD consortium is, is a joke in yeah. Europe. <laughs> yeah, it it's is. really a joke. It is. Because it's so tough and so hard to understand that BYD is one of the world's biggest car manufacturers, yeah. especially within full, fully electric cars. Yeah. It's probably the only brand in the world producing a car as a Seagull. Yeah. Up to wait this. And a supercar. Just to, to close this video in a good way, uh, this is our first time in China, in yeah. Chengdu, and we have had a great time. And we most certainly will come back yeah. to other fairs like the Shanghai Auto Show, etc. Because this is really where stuff happens now. It is. It is. And, and we have 
really get a good view on how the industry works. Yeah. And it's even more dynamic and bigger than we thought. It is. Yeah. There's a lot of brands we didn't cover here because they're not relevant for us in Europe and the rest of the world. Pure Chinese brands. Yeah. And we don't know if they come or will not come. We have no idea. But like the market is so different here. Yeah. Yeah. So different. Uh, you and see that both in the design, but also in the what the consumers want. All that combined, we see the leap in technology, the leap in design. And we see that now the European brands tend to follow the Chinese design yeah. instead of vice versa. This was the third episode of our Chengdu Motor Show series, so stay tuned for the upcoming number four and five. And whilst waiting, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and engage into the comments. Ask us questions, feel free to share your thoughts about the cars in the videos and so on. Stay electric, thank you for watching, speak too soon.